everybody! What's going on? My name is Chris and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun. Last episode, we had a battle atop the lighthouse Eri. And uh, we cooked some butts. Ki kind of. I, I think it went pretty well, actually. And it'll be fine. This is nothing without with the water of Hermes. So this episode, we're going to depart from Emil. But first, we're going to take a look around one last time. Don't worry about us, Mia. We'll protect the village now. Aw, adorable. Um, let's go talk to this guy. This is the only guy in my notes I said that said some kind of no was this guy. Oh god, the beacon has been lit and the fountain is flowing again. It's a shame that Mia's leaving the village. I never told Mia that I liked her. This is for the best. <laughs> so he likes Mia. There's a love! There's a little bit of a love thing going on. That's adorable. <laughs> Uh, the OTP, the true OTP. It's almost time for you to leave, isn't it? Just like the legend said, the fountain began flowing when the light was lit. That means Emil never needs fear disease again. It's really interesting, because it seems to be like a catch-22 that the lighthouse has been lit. For one, we failed our mission. Um, the lighthouses are extremely dangerous, and we need to stop the evil Satoris and Minority from um, destroying the world. However... Are they really that bad if it just gave us a fountain that essentially heals this village and no one's gonna be sick anymore? One, two, three, four. Not always black and white, I guess. Sometimes it's a bit of a gray line. I was training so hard that I could withstand any disease. Now the house fountain is back. What did I treat so hard for all this time? I've let my guard down. I'm getting cold chills. Maybe I should go drink some fountain water. Oh, you. I mean, that's maybe maybe the solution here is don't wear a tank top. And go outside in the middle of freaking winter. Good Lloyd. Um, you see the weapon shop is back up. It's been a while since I recorded, by the way. I have to catch up and all else will continue. It's time for business. I apologize if I've talked to some of these guys. I, it's been a while since I've recorded. It's a shame that the store was closed for something as minor as a cool. I did look through my footage. However, there's a bit of a blank spot. Um, in between when I leave the lighthouse and uh, get to the entrance of a mill where I saw the episode. So he has nothing new. Nothing that good. Nothing not good cheese. Let's see if there's any armor. Since being Satoris, we do have some uh, we have some money to spend now, so that's good. And we'll now see there's actually there's, there's two, multiple pages in the armor shop, which is cute. Um, how's it looking here? Adept's clothes. Ooh, that's only two defensive points. Seven. That's probably worth. That's wow. That's a lot. But we're actually gonna give it to Ivan based on the fact that he only has 43 defense. And Mia has uh, 63. I think it's much more important. I, Ivan, in this entire game, you have to babysit him a lot because he will die if you're not careful. Bronze shield, that's also pretty nice. Uh, Isaac's inventory is full. Let's see, oops. Let's see if we could um, sell some stuff in uh, uh, Isaac's inventory. <laughs> so interestingly enough, we could actually sell the Hermes water for 1,500 coins. Uh, you'll see it replenishes all HP, so it not only helps in the story, but also can help with that as well. Um, I don't think I'm ever go oh, I thought I had some armor here I could sell that I wasn't wearing. Does anyone else have any armor? Oh, see, <laughs> Garrett has two child vests for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why that's a thing, actually. Let's look at some extra coinage. That would be good. Uh, what about you? Oh, the witch's wand we can now sell. Good. Uh, that's alright. We cannot sell a shaman's rod, so that's- it looks like a useless weapon, and it, it is, but- <laughs> Uh, we're gonna actually sell the sleeping bombs. Yeah, we'll sell these. And then we'll also sell the elixirs. Since we do have Mia that could uh, heal poison, or um, delusion and all that. So that's a thing. We don't have to worry about Okay, that should be okay for now. And then let's go back to here. Uh, the shields. Let's quickly take a peek, skis, and see if there's anything else worth it. Yeah, see, that boosts some defensive points, but it's a lot of times, like, the stuff like this is not really worth it. Uh, I mean, like, that six, that's pretty nice. One cat, okay, that's the downgrade, right? Yeah. Hot! Alright, so, in other words, the best method here would be... Give that to Isaac, good. Oh, actually, uh, buy, we could buy more. Um, get game tickets, which will be useful eventually. I keep saying that, we're what, 18 episodes? Yeah, 18 episodes in here, and we still haven't made use of that yet. And it'll be quite a few amount of episodes until we will make use of that. Um, and then just the helmet, right? Uh, who, you, could use that. Um, I, in my practice file, I actually never bought any armor from these guys, and I was struggling quite a bit, so this actually might help a little bit. I've learned. I've also recorded some footage that will uh, 
um, that I actually will be inputting here and showing off some stuff, including something I did not know about Mia. Um, you say anything interesting? The Rookie Lighthouse is shiny. Mia will never be leaving us, or she will be leaving us soon, won't she? Mia will never leave us. Mia was was only on, only in the mill to guard the lighthouse. Now it's been let she possibly. I mean, but this is her home. It's nice that the fountain can heal us, but Mia had something special. Blue light from her hands. Could she really be an angel? You know, they say normal people can't see synergy, but what do they see? Like, they see Mia's glowing hands would be, like, emanating synergy, right? Anyway, let's jump in here and see what's going on. Mia! You are worried that you wouldn't come back! I'm so sorry, you two. Mia, we have a problem! The Mercury Lighthouse, it's been lit! Yeah, yeah, we know. Mia, you already knew? What's the matter? You look strange today, Mia. <laughs> I... How should I tell you? You have something to say? What is it? Well, I... Uh, I... I'll be joining Isaac on his quest. It's very hard for me to leave you, but it's the lighthouse. So the world would be in danger if the lighthouse was lit, right? Is that why you're leaving? To protect the world? Yes, that's right. In other words, Mia's a superhero. And there's nothing we could do. We won't try to stop you then. After all, you're trying to protect the Mercury Clan. Yes, I am. As members of the Mercury Clan, we will protect Emil ourselves, so don't worry, okay? I will try hard to, he to learn to heal you- to learn a I will try hard and learn to heal as well as you, Mia. Okay, I'll leave the village in your hands, Megan, Justin. We can leave without any worries now. So this is an optional cutscene. You could skip this if you wanted to. Wow, it's that side time. I'll be a kind girl like Mia. Come back in some time and see me all grow up. I don't want you to. Sorry, Mia, but I can't stand to see you go. Aww. Let's go on a journey with you, right? Sniff, it makes me sad, but I'll try to be a good healer. Mia's going to defend the honor of the Mercury Clan. Yay! May only be a stoop, but I can ask as your healer. <laughs> It's alright, this is anytime you need healing, so uh, it's interesting that these call themselves members of the Mercury Clan, because I don't think they actually are, I think they're just training in the, uh, in the art of healing. There was actually one thing that I wanted to do, that I actually forgot, um, like a fool. Alright, we're gonna run back here real quick, and, nope, not artifacts, I clicked the Orion thing, whoa, wait a minute! Was this here before? Oh, snap! Gosh dangers. That would only boost Ivan's attack by 2, that would boost Mia's attack by a lot. Um, 14 to be exact. Good lloyd. Uh, shoot. Uh, this is awkward. Oh, that would be enough! Wow, actually I didn't expect that to be nearly enough to be able to get it. Alright. Wow, I- wow, I didn't realize this was- this would be here. So this is a blessed onk! Yeah, so Nick equipped it now. Great! So the real reason why I came here was to repair. Uh, you should fix damage weapons before they break, which actually you can't do. I don't know why he says that. <laughs> so our healing ring broke a little while ago, so let's fix that. I'll fix your healing ring for 200 coins, okay? Oh good, we had enough money. For a second, I didn't realize it was that expensive. Yes sir! I'll take your healing ring then. <laughs> that loops out right. I repaired the healing ring. Here it is. So, I'm not gonna do that ever again, probably. The healing ring's nice. It's essentially a, an herb. It's not worth a whole lot, to be honest. I might even sell it eventually. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, the wintry area of Emil in surrounding area. So now we head back south. It went to go south. It feels like we're going this way. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go see if we can heal Tret now. Hopefully he will be a very nice lad, and hopefully they'll solve all of our problems. Um, the thing I actually, I've actually learned about, well first of all, did I mention that Justin, yeah I guess I did mention that Justin and Megan, like they, they mentioned being members of the American Clan, but I guess they aren't really. It's very strange, also I gotta start attacking normally to show uh, the effects of the Elven Rape here, I don't know if I've shown that yet, as well as the Blast Onk. Onk. Um, so, before, when I first went to Billabin, with Lord McCoy, and we talked to him, um, uh, we're gonna start, oops. I don't want to talk to you, I want to talk to you. Good. And we're gonna just attack with these two, just just see if it- nope, no special attack that time. Um, 
you could- I didn't think you could actually do this, but it makes sense. If you, like, don't go and talk to Lord McCoy right away, and you skip that, you could actually- when you get Mia, you could return, and there's actually a little bit of a, uh, different cutscene. Uh, Isaac's level is now level 11. Maximum HP goes up by 8, PP by 3, attack by 4, defense 2, agility 4. Yay, and we got a mirror about that too. Yes. Yes, excellent. Yeah. Oh, god dang Oh, gosh darn. Uh, actually, this would be a good opportunity. Let's see if we could draw- there we go. Purple Slash. I might have shown this already. Oh, great. He's defending as well. Ah, Well. This we gotta just get Mia me, me to do a thing next time. Um, have we, did we get a chance to use Frost in the lighthouse? I actually don't remember. So we can actually freeze water here. Ow! The fire meal also. We can't move that torch. I'm not gonna even bother trying because I, I know we can't. Um, yeah, I guess so. Uh, we've seen your Vorpal Slash, and I'm just getting Mia to attack. Hurry! Um, when I say there's a bit of a different cutscene, uh, if you go to Bilibin and talk to Lord McCoy, it's only different in the sense that um, Mia is there. <laughs> uh, he heals. Dang you, man. Dang you. Let's see if we can get her to draw out. There. Oh, dang it. I thought we had it. Curses. Foil again. And an antidote. Good, good, good. Um, Mia actually only stands there. She doesn't have any spoken lines. I don't think this will work either, right? However, this fire is a bit different. Let's see. The fire still welts it. We have no way to put this out, but that's a bit of a hint that it might be worth it to come back later. As you can see up there, there's a bit of a path we can run along, but we can't do it yet. Good lord, there's so many of these buttholes! Um, so yeah, we're gonna head towards the building now. But yeah, so here, I'll show a screenshot on the screen, though, of what it looks like uh, when you, when Mia um, is there. Just, just, just kind of show it off. Just because it's weird. <laughs> it's weird that they put her there and then not have her say anything. But yeah, so that's that's how that is. Just just because I want to kind of point out everything, uh, as much information as I possibly can about this game, because you know, like I said, I love it, and I want to show off everything I could possibly fi figure out. And yeah, all right. So we're gonna quickly dispense of this ooze, and we're gonna start cutting out battles, and trying my absolute best to time my commentary so I could do that. I guess this would be a good. Uh, a good let's play to do post commentary because I gotta edit all the battles ahead of time and then just. Talk. Hey, there we go. So that's synergy or er, siphon seal. Oh, I thought it was synergy seal. Oh, nice. And even worked too. Gnome synergy has been sealed. So, wow. I can't believe how well that just worked out. Uh, gnome cast flare, but the synergy is blocked. I think that's the first time we've seen a synergy seal, right? Uh, we'll see that quite a bit throughout these this game actually. So look at that, the one battle I cut out. Gary's now level 11 soldier. Max HP goes up by 8, PP by 3, attack by 4, defense by 2, agility by 3. I'm now level 11 magician. Uh, HP by 7, PP 3, attack 4, defense 2, agility 4. There we go, awesome opossum. Of course, right before we get to the exit here. I kinda wish like in between, I wish there was like somebody standing here or something. Um, and then we kinda like uh, you know, like, and then once we beat the lighthouse, we came back and they would have dug out this area. Because, like, I'm assuming that landslide there is also from when the, uh, when the eruption happened and the giant earthquake around the world caused everything to go shit. There we go. I love the overall music. Save every much. Alright. Um, there is actually nothing new in Billabin. And unless, like, I want to need to stay at the end, which you don't really need to stay at the end, so we should be okay. Unless I needed to stay at the inn, uh, I'm not going to bother stopping by there. So yeah, uh, we'll head south, and then we'll head east. Never eat soggy wieners, always remember. <laughs> I like I like running into villages just because I think it resets how uh, when we'll be attacking. I don't know if that's a thing, but it feels that like... Oh my god, I definitely thought I was going to be attacked there. <sighs> Holy crap. Alright, so just like last time, as you remember, this is locked up, so we'll have to move it. I like to move it. Hello? Hello? What's going on? Ah, please! Anyone! Please help! Nah. Okay, we'll help her in a second. They cross. Uh, they cross the river after pushing us down. This is terrible. How could anyone do that? So Taurus and Menardi push these trees down. That's so mean! She'd be swept down the stream if she hasn't pulled the shore. So, um, this is actually like. Whoa, 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 
Uh, hello? Weird, that wouldn't let me run over there. There's a tree that looks like a person. Uh, as well as instances, I'm pretty sure I skipped this last time when I first played this game. Because when you ever tap A to open up your menu, um, you talk to the tree. However, you can also use select, which I did not know for a long time for some stupid reason. Anyways, you can pull her to shore. Like I said, though, it is possible to skip this. And she does die. Um, it's very sad. <laughs> Thank you, you saved me from being washed downstream. No problem, anything else to say? Nope. I would still be- oh, it looks like she was okay. <laughs> so I like how these guys are all like, you know, some kind of- they have some kind of relationship with each other, whether it be friends or family or what. But like, just this- this- this per this tree's reaction- oh, it looks like she's okay. That's so like- I don't know, nothing. Also, I would not be like- I would still be scared if I saw on the river bank like that. What's to stop her from still being swept out? And this guy, he can't actually see, so he just says the same thing. So, uh, yeah, like I said, like, you can skip this, and she does die if you don't, so um, it is pretty important to actually not skip it. Uh, Kalima will have nothing new for us as well, so let's head back into here. I'm going to run through this as fast as I can, skip all the battles, uh, so we can just get through this. Uh, thankfully, this dungeon is not as long as uh, it seems, as it feels like. Shit, did I go the wrong way? Oh, damn. No, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> I got confused by this so I was, when I went through this again on my practice file, too. I, f I didn't realize I could just push out logs. I'm stupid. Hey, there we go. Look at that perfect timing with that speech there. All right. <clears throat> um, this is also kind of the downside as well to uh, doing Mercury Lighthouse second after being this, is you do have to go through this a second time. So it really is like up to um, you, up to you if you want to do Mercury House first and try to go through the pain of trying to do it super low level. I think we're actually gonna start using this. Let's start with Grandpa! Simply because we've already been through this area. Monsters will text off now. And um, there's really no reason to not. I mean, it is some experience, it is some coins that we do kind of need. But I think it's it's probably worth it just for the let's play flow sake and I don't have to stop talking, although I. I might be able to be a tax still. Um, forgive me for not remembering how this works, but I, th I, I think it's just monsters that are lower level than you won't attack you. There we go. But if you don't get attacked at all here until the Sacred Feather wears off, they'll probably tell me that that's true. I might just lower the encounter rate instead of like I don't know one every average 50 steps. Maybe it'll be instead like once every like I don't know 100 steps or 150 steps or something. Just I don't know if 50 is the average amount of steps like for this world. Yeah, look at that. We can get tech ones. Oh, good. This is actually uh, we're pretty much at the end of the uh, Kalima Forest already. Gotta say these dungeons definitely feel much longer <laughs> uh, when I played these as a kid. I guess because I was much more steeper back then. But no longer am I steeper. And uh, if you recall, all you gotta do is just push out log left. And the rest of the logs are seriously just there for the uh, advanced puzzle of doing the fur coat puzzle. Oh. Oh, I guess this would actually be a really good time to go over um, what Mia, what the different cutscene is. Because when we first came to Kalima Forest, if you recall, when the sparkles came down and tried to turn us in trees, I mentioned that there is a bit of a different cutscene if we went to Mill first, and that's of course because we now have a new party member, Mia. And while she didn't say anything in the Billabin cutscene, or she wouldn't have said anything in the Billabin cutscene, she does say quite a few stuff in the uh, in, in this version. So hold on, let me pull this up real quick as as the music cuts in and out because I I need. <laughs> okay, so via I'll show these cutscene or these uh, screenshots on screen as um. As I discuss them, but uh, uh, me and there's a few lines Mia has. The first one being, "It's horrible. All these trees with clothes are really Kalima's villagers." And of course, is in revelation to her realizing that um, everyone's turning to trees. Next, we have when we when she gets attacked, or when everyone's getting attacked, she says, I, "I can't. I can't even stand up." Followed by, "Oh no! If it touches us, we'll turn to trees." In reference to the Spackleys, of course. And then, you know what those fields were? In reference to the shields that just pop up. And then, you're right, I can stand too. This is after Garrett states that he could stand up after the uh, sparkle sparkle stop coming down. And then she says, but what? Well, uh, the only way you can use synergy is by concentrating. I believe actually Ivan says it, or, or maybe Garrett says this initially, but they changed, I guess. It's probably different, a slightly different text as well. And then that's it. 
So I um, was like, what, five or six lines in there? She has. That's a pretty long line. Different. Like a, that's a pretty different cutscene. A little bit. I mean, not really. It's different in the sense that she actually has some character development. There it is. The menu automatic pop-up. It's weird that that happens sometimes. Like, why didn't that happen with the tree when we could save the tree? Anyways, not this time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Next episode, we'll save Kalima Forest once and for good. Talk to you guys next time. Bye bye. Oh yeah, there is one last thing I actually forgot to mention. Uh, Mia in the Tret Tree. Once you defeat Tret, uh, everyone. Um, right at the end of the conversation, Mia just says, "Let's go, Isaac." And that's all the lines of dialogue. <laughs> all right, see you guys next time. Bye bye.